Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to read today again, surprise. So today's uh, reading is going to be August 18th. And if you don't know me, I'm Jolie, and I, I'm an artist and a stylist and a recovering addict who is also in Al-Anon, because that's how I found my um, my people in the beginning, uh, trying to see if I can fix the other people in my life, thinking that that's what the issue was. I mean, yes, there were problems with that, absolutely. But um, Al-Anon showed me that I can't change other people. I can only change myself, which was really... Um, they didn't just let me know this, which was nice, which was really nice. They actually gave me some tools. One of them is reading. So, um, I'm just going, I'm just telling you, oh, hi, my little cat, Lilac Moon. Hi, sweetheart. She likes, to, I put those chairs back there for her to sit in. So, yeah, um, I, uh. I'll move on. <laughs> we'll read. Reading is one of the tools because uh, it's, this is a, a little time for myself, a collection of Al-Anon personal experiences because <clears throat> going to meetings, for instance, reading these books because they're, they're individual uh, shares. Um, no one's telling you what to do with your life. But they're giving you examples of how they're they've they're overcoming um, addiction and the issues that other people's addictions have on family and friends. And so um, we go to Alan so that we can kind of have a group of people that get us and that um, like we see how they. They do solutions daily, and then they see how we do it, and then we move on. Like, when we don't have to be alone in this, okay? All right, so that was Jibber Jabber, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to say the serenity prayer, because I had to say it several times today at work, because I have other addictions like candy, for instance, like bad for me stuff. And um, the last few days I've been working on my ulcer, trying to heal my ulcer. But not only that, it's just try to maintain a better quality of uh, foods <laughs> that I've been eating. But at work, there's certain places that have like a bunch of like those little candy bars, like paydays and the Reese's peanut butter cups. And like, there's a whole candy jar full of them. And like, it gets boring there. And like, I start just wanting one. And then like today was one of those days. So um, I was like, no, I can't eat one because then I'll eat like three and reason through it. And, you know, like binging on the candy, like they're small ones. Like I'm reasoning it right now. So you can see this. I'm like, well, they're small. They have, some of them have nuts in them. I can't eat nuts right now, especially with this, with this ulcer, right? I can't eat that stuff. It's like really bad for me. And um, so what I did is I used uh, saying the serenity prayer and the third step prayer over and over and over. And then I got through it and then I got busy and then I forgot about it. So that was great. So um, I posted on one of my shorts, one of those things, like I like Russell Brand because he's also in sobriety. He does the 12 step programs too. And um, it's with Lilac looking out our window when we lived in Florida. I love that house. It's like one of those things where I didn't think I'd ever be able to do that, ever be able to have a, my own place after, you know, having that trauma in my life, that breakup. And um, so looking at that and then listening to him talk about like, you just have to get through one day. Like you don't know where you're going to be in five years. You don't. I didn't. I had no clue what, you know, I didn't know there was going to be 
a hurricane that would take over the bridge that would destroy both my jobs. Um, I didn't know all these things, but I did stay sober the whole time. And because of the tools, because of the fellowship, because just one day, just getting through one day is less daunting than saying, okay, I'm going to do this forever. I don't know. I just know that today I can. And, you know, just like I got through the candy thing today. I kept saying the prayer over and over and over because I'm like, I need, I have an addiction to that because I can't stop myself. And my body has gone through some things that like first step stuff, like the first step is like, I'm powerless over it. I'm powerless over it. So um, connecting to my higher power help today. So I just wanted to share that. All right, well, let's see what we have for the reading. Um, all right, let's say the serenity prayer. Here we go. God grant us the serenity to accept things that we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference, to have the wise dominion to find out why we do what we do. So, all right. Here we go. Oh, check out the rest of my ring. I have so many books that I've read. I have over a thousand plus videos of daily reflections. So if you miss one or you want to take, you want another August 18th reading, there's going to be courage to change hope for today. Um, one day at a time in Al-Anon. There's, um, there's another one. I just read it. It was like the one they read last year. It was, it's, it's, I lost which one it is, but it's down there in the description. It is an AA book. All right. Do we do all the things? Now we need to read. All right. Here we go. I love you guys. All right. Thanks for being here. Here we go. Page 231. Sometimes my greatest growth comes after my son relapses into his alcoholism again. Sometimes my greatest growth comes after my son relapses into his alcoholism again. Before Al-Anon, this sent me tumbling into depression and isolation. It created drama, only adding to an unhealthy situation. I made it worse by trying to force solutions. Now, during these times, I know I must tend to my own emotional sobriety by attending meetings, reaching out to others, praying and meditating. It helps to know I can be open in meetings, express my sadness. I can cry. I can listen to others share their experience, strength, and hope. It's not unusual for me to come away from a meeting feeling lifted in spirit and light of heart. Today's reminder, I'm stronger and more capable of healthy behaviors because of the time and effort I have put into my recovery. It's, it's true. Me too. I can relate to that. Can you? All right. So um, the more we take care of ourselves and focus on our own recovery, the more able we are to fully participate in all of our relationships. So um, how does focusing on myself benefit me today? How does focusing on yourself benefit you today? It benefits us. I know like for me, when I focus on myself, I can be present. I can be more present. Um, I'm not like worrying about things or wondering why other people are doing what they're doing because I can't control it anyhow. Like that's crazy. That becomes like crazy train. I call it crazy train when I, and I'm reminded a lot by when other people go, do you know why this is, do you know why this is? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know why, you know, I'm too busy thinking about myself right now. And it sounds so bad, but it's not that I don't think it's, I think it's funny, but true. 
maybe at the time when I say that, I'm not really thinking about myself. I'm distracted, but I can remind myself to think about myself so that I can solve the problems that are going on within me. I can be present for that the best I can, maybe a little tiny bit, a little bit. Like just for today, right? Like I will try to live through this day only, not tackle all my problems at once. I can do something for 12 hours that would appall me if I felt that I had to keep it up for a lifetime. And I, it's from one of the bookmarks just for today. Just for today, I will be happy. Just for today, I will adjust myself to what is and not try to adjust everything to my own desires. I will take my luck as it comes and fit myself to it. Humility, right? Just for today, I will try to strengthen my mind. I will study, I will learn something useful. I will not be a mental loafer. I will not be a penny loafer. Penny loafers are back in style. Well, I don't think they ever left, right? Classics. I will read something that requires effort, thought, and concentration. All right. All right. Just for today, I will be unafraid, especially... I will not be afraid to enjoy this beautiful and to believe that as I give to the world, so the world will give to me. That's beautiful. That's hopeful, right? All right. Well, I love you. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, this way, why not? It helps the gym. It helps you. You get notified. You're supporting the girl here by letting me know you're here. And um, comment. I want to know what comes up for you. And what else? Oh, join if you'd like to join. That would be great. So um, with that said, I am going to put in the step series wherever it shows up, either here or here. Subscribe and Go to those videos if you want to like see what the steps look like if you haven't already or if you are working on them already and you need like some type of support like just listening to it while you're doing them i think that's helpful to me and i don't feel alone it's sort of conversational like it's reading all right so this is love you see you tomorrow god willing okay yeah all right very good this is.